Hi there, yarn lovers. It's Gary and Hubby coming to you from Vancouver, Canada. And this is uh, January the 16th, a Saturday, and it's video number 92. So we're going to be doing a little bit of an unbagging and comparison from a Canadian yarn store. And it's called the Aberdeen Wool. Uh, I believe it's .ca, aberdeenwool.ca. And I'm going to be comparing price points on Premier Yarns, which I purchased as well from Premier.com. They were having a sale, and I've just checked some of the yarn that I'm going to showcase is still on sale. Uh, so let's get stuck into it. Hubby, how's your week been? Great. Yeah, <laughs> what's been going on? Yeah, just busy at work. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't ready for that question, but <laughs> um, are you excited about showcasing some of the yarn? Sure, I uh, have no clue what I'm going to be doing here. Uh, I'm not really the yarny type, but I'm <laughs> learning more as Gary is always doing his his channel here and constantly knitting. So I'm learning some, but I'm still pretty new to it. So. You're going to get a bit of a perspective from, a, 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 I guess, an outsider or someone who's not so familiar. So I'll, I'll probably not be using the proper terms, but I'll describe best what I can. That's great. Uh, so just a little bit of a background story on Aberdeen Wool, uh, which is a Canadian Ontario based company, is that I got wind of it from Lisa from Lisa's Crochet. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Steve. And also one of my Yanni friends, I can't quite remember who it was, but I've written her name down in my little notebooks to give credit to, and I don't have my notebook with me. So I do apologize. Uh, but they were having an anniversary sale because they've been around for, I, don't, I think maybe eight years or so. And uh, I was really amazed about the price points that they had. They have a whole sleuth of different brands, Premier being one of them, uh, not a full range, just a select range. And some of these are the ones that uh, I'm, me and Hubby are going to showcase. So dip into your bag there. Maybe we can show what, what, what they, how they arrived. So uh, this is Premier, it came in a bag, and your one also came in the bag from, uh, from Aberdeen Wool. So what's your first one? The first one is this little bundle of joy. Uh, it looks, I don't know, it looks to me like kind of like very spring, like, I guess, Easter fiesta is what I would call it. But I don't know what they call it. What do they call it? Uh, okay, reading labels. Oh, I think I'm getting to that age where I might need to get some readers pretty soon. This is slushy. I guess that looks like slushy I think it's you know when you go and you put the different layers I would think that they would be like I call it grape slushy bubblegum slushy lemon slushy and strawberry maybe cotton candy <laughs> slushy <laughs> is there a slushy called cotton I candy? don't know I'm making that up but uh slushy I guess is an appropriate name but I kind of like Easter fiesta because it's kind of like those you know eastery colors you can see a lot of the the flowers in the springtime look like that so this is Sweet Roll Frosty. I guess that is... How much do you get in there? How much do you get in there? Let's see. 245 yards or 224 meters. The weight is 5 ounces or 140 grams. It is a medium... Medium... Full weight. Medium yeah. four weight. So I was like, it's a medium size. <laughs> it's medium four. So that's weight. Is that what that is? Yeah, that's okay. the thickness. Okay, the thickness is a medium four. Yeah. There we go. And it is 100% acrylic. Now the price points that we've got for the Aberdeen Wool Company will be in Canadian dollars. So uh, take that in consideration when I'm comparing the prices with the uh, Premier, from premieryarns.com. And uh, so what's the price of this one, Chad? This one is six ninety nine. That sounds really good to me, but you know what? I have no idea, um, and I don't know how many of these you'd need to make a sweater or a hat. But uh, if I'm just buying one off, six ninety nine. That sounds pretty good. But you're <laughs> the expert. You tell me. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, I think it's. I think it's good. Uh, 
as a price point comparison to the to the Premier site, I'm just going to type it in and we'll get the, I think it was $4.99. Okay, it is $4.99 on the US site and it was $6.99 Canadian. So I would say on par with each other, but from Canada, what happens when you actually order from Premier, uh, we are slapped with a very, very hefty uh, price point for shipping. So uh, I would say if you're from Canada, order this type of yarn from Arberdeen.com or .ca, I should say, Arberdeenwool.ca. Do they, not, they don't charge for shipping, do they? Uh, they do $5 flat rate. So oh, uh, you can buy as little or as much as you like and they will do a $5 flat rate. Which is nothing when you're talking about shipping. Like, yeah. I, I can't believe just like a regular bag when you send it off, it's like 60 bucks. It's like crazy mm -hmm. how much they charge. But. So I'll just uh, finish it up here. It does require a 5.5 millimeter knit set of knitting needles or crochet hook. And the care instructions are to, it is machine wash on warm cycle, tumble dry, normal. So really good care instructions. And I believe this is made in Turkey as well. Yes, it is. So that's the first one. I will now go into my bag of Premier Yarn. They were having a sale a uh, couple, I'm going to say November, they had a sale. And I purchased some of this yarn and I just looked online and some of these are still on sale right now. So I got... Uh, Three of these in a bag, but I used one so that I can showcase what type of results you get with the workup of this particular Premier Serenity. It's the Serenity Chunky variety of yarn, and it comes in this colorway called Almond, and it is also a made in Turkey product, and you get uh, 100 and nine yards or 100 meters 3.5 ounces 100 grams it's a five weight bulky and it requires eight millimeter set of knitting needles or eight millimeter crochet hook it suggests to warm machine wash on gentle and uh, tumble dry low so really really nice soft yarn what do you think there hubby Ah, uh, nice. Um, I don't know I wouldn't call it almond though I don't know it doesn't look like there's different colors there. It more looks like, I don't know, like <laughs> rural heyday. So this is the, <laughs> this is the color that it worked up in. Uh, like this is star. my, my, uh, bush trucker beanie. And it has a little bit of speckle in it when it works up. So yeah, it, that's it why I don't know. Has almond. Speckle in it. I guess almond does. So I bought three in that colorway and one of them I've already used. And each of these skeins were $3.99 in US currency. Uh, the Aberdeen wool.ca uh, wool does not have uh, this on their website, but you can get it from premieryarns.com. Uh, and I also got it in this colorway here called Toast. I won't take it out of the bag because we already opened the other one. It's really, really nice and soft. And uh, it's a, a true bulky size. What have you got in yours? Your uh, bag? Anyone? Yeah. Lucky dip it. Okay. Another premier yarn. This one's called Coffee Shop. That's the, I guess, the brand name. See, that looks like a coffee. It's just, to me, I would just say navy blue gray. That's what I would call it. Navy blue gray. What do they call it? Sumatra. See, navy blue gray. That kind of. I think I like the simple colors. I like <laughs> blue, yellow. If I'm getting risky, I'll go light blue, dark blue. But uh, uh, I love the names that they all come up with. But uh, to me, I would just call that blue gray. Um, but that is that's just me. Um, I think that coffee shop names are derived from all different coffee beans from around the world. Oh, so Sumatra, that makes sense. Sumatra right. is a coffee bean. Yes, it is uh, indeed. Place. And this is 284 yarns. It's 260 meters or 3.5 ounces, 100 grams. It's 85% acrylic and 15% wool. This is a light uh, three weight. And your needle size, is that what you say? A US six, four millimeter. And it's machine wash, warm, lay flat to dry. Did I get it all? Yeah, crochet hook. 
Crochet hook. Oh, um, uh, it's four point two five mil millimeter crochet hook or a USG <clears throat> G size. Whatever that means. Uh, I believe that one is made in Turkey as well. It is. It is yeah, Turkey. Made in Turkey. Yeah. So this is one that is actually a a, a great value for both U.S. and Canadian uh, people who are purchasing coffee shop. The price point is four dollars. Uh, for Canadian currency in, for the coffee shop. So and it's super soft. Feel that it's really bouncy. Oh, I isn't really it? like that. Yeah. And on the Premier side, if we look on their price point, it is three dollars ninety nine US. So if we convert that as Canadians, three ninety nine US is probably around. I'm going to say like five dollars. So uh, already we've saved money from buying and purchasing directly from Canada and also for the United States uh, with the $5 flat rate sh shipping to anywhere in the North American uh, states or also provinces, you are saving money. That would make a nice scarf or a sweater. I could, I could, those are totally my colors. Do you want to uh, dip in there? There's another coffee shop you can just show the color. Another coffee shop? Or is it the same? There's two more oh, coffee two shops more in there. Yeah, see, I could. Actually, this should be three, three, four all up. So this one, see these are more, That's not my colors, but those are nice, burgundy. those are beautiful. That is like a, yeah, burgundy. See, I would just call this dark red purple is what I would call it, but I guess burgundy is the more proper term. I go by the basics, dark red purple. Um, Kona. So Kona, I guess, uh, Hawaiian blend of coffee, I'm assuming, right? So from Kona, Hawaii, yeah, yeah. That one, is it the same weight? It's a light three. Yep. So uh, same, same, all the same things. And just the colors. Just different. the color. And what does, yeah, Kona. So that is Kona. That one is Sumatra. And you said there's one more? Two more. Should be. Two more. Okay. This is kind of fun. I can see why you're doing the, like this. <laughs> oh, I could like this one too. This one yeah, I was what like, do you think of that one? I would say this one to me is a, Gray, light gray, almost a little tiny purple tinge in there. Gray, light gray, purple, but I'm sure it has a, see, I go by the basics. I'm straight up, there we go. Uh, it's a lightweight three, all the same. I'm looking for the name. Sidemo. Did I say that right, Sidemo? Yeah. Sidemo. I don't know where that country is, but uh, S-I-D-A-M-O. So it'll be a coffee. Yeah, that me. one's actually look, looking like it's falling apart. Looks a bit ratty, doesn't it? Yeah, it's not as soft. It's it's funny. There, this is still this one. Yeah, that one's for you. That okay. one's for me, definitely. And then there's one more. Oh well, look at me! I'm taking over here. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is kind of fun. Who would have known? <laughs> um, I don't see another I'll coffee in here. Perfect. There's only three left. There's no. Oh, I might. I might not have got all my. There's Kona. Turquoise. There should be a turquoise in there. There's a, a coffee shop? Yeah. Nope. Nope. <gasps> nope. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to call them up to tell them that I didn't get one of my uh, coffee. Only three left. Unless, of course, it fell out of the bag somewhere. I'll, I'll take a look at it. But I also got a, a turquoise one. That's not it. Uh, so I'll jump into my next one from Premier. Okay. So I... I'm trying out a new one that Premier has uh, bought out. It's one of their featured yarns that is only around for a, a brief period. So I don't know whether they're going to continue using this uh, yarn as an option, but it's a limited time offer only apparently. So it is the anti-peeling yarn ev uh, from Everyday D uh, DK. And let's open it up and have a look. I, only, I got the one color of this one. They do have a whole bunch of colors. I think maybe nine or ten colors. And so if I was a color maker, what would I call this one? Mm, I think I would okay. call it Carnival. It's called Ice Pop Speckle. Oh, okay. Ice Pop Speckle. <laughs> I, so, actually, I like that. That works. Uh, the Ice Pop, Pop Speckle. Here we go. Three ninety nine per a ball. And I'm going to read some of the uh, okay. details. Oh, I'm getting in trouble here. Because <laughs> no, I... Here, you want to hold that? I'll pull out another one. I was one. trying to show off your... Yeah. All right. One for you, one for me, and one for the viewers. Like new, wash after wash. 
All right, so what we have in here is a DK weight, so it's a three weight yarn, and in that you get 273 yards, 250 meters, 3.5 ounces or 100 grams, 100% anti-peeling acrylic. It is uh, tested and approved by uh, for harmful substances. They are suggesting to use a four millimeter set of knitting needles or a four millimeter crochet hook. It is machine washable and you can tumble dry this. And I believe it is a product that is made in Turkey, but... I think the tags. Yeah, the, the actual uh, sticker is on top. But I, if it's different, I will correct myself down below in the description box. So again, it comes in many colors. And I only bought three of the color that I like the most, which is this uh, Ice Pop Speckle. And each of them are $3.99 US currency. Are you still trying to get to see Made where... in Turkey. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for that. And you just ripped my label. Oh my God. Okay. No more ripping labels. What do you do? You okay, prize you them, keep them? Go, go, go. Do we frame them? No, it means that it holds it together. Look at that. Look what he did. <laughs> All right. Um, this. Oh, what would I call this one? I don't know what I would call that. That is a party in a ball, it looks like. <laughs> Oh and that is, see, I, I'm not a name creator, but I would just say that looks like, fine, I would just call that, oh, it looks like there's a bit of mustardy, oh, maybe like summer barbecue. Okay, get that, to the details. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, I'm having too much fun with this. I just need to see what the name of it is. Where am I looking for the name? It is Color, Redwood Sequoia. I'm stalling here. It's 170 yards or 155 meters, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams. It's 100% acrylic. It's a medium four weight. The needle size for knitting is a US 9 and for crocheting it is a US I9. Um, did I, it's made, it's tumble dry, machine wash warm, and it, I'm assuming it's made in Turkey. Yes, it is. Um, and, most of them uh, are. and most of them are and did I miss anything did I get to the point yeah um, so this one is a premier product as well that is sold on the site from Canada the Aberdeen wool .ca. and this one is another price point purchase that I feel is better even for US people to buy from Canada because of the fact that it is a bit cheaper uh, I the price point for the mural woods is five dollars Canadian, and I had this on the premiere site. Let me hold it for you. Uh, sure, thanks. It's not letting me in for some reason. My iPad's just frozen. I did a, a little bit of a product analysis and uh, comparison on prices, and for the premier site it was a lot more expensive once the monetary value was transferred over into canadian dollars so with the uh aberdeen wool.ca you only pay the five dollars for the delivery uh and you save money per unit and right now as of this date it is selling for five dollars canadian uh per ball really really nice you've got a couple more colors in there what else did you get so that is this mirror wood? Does that mean it's going to be a wood name? Uh, if I'm if I'm going on the wood theme, am I supposed to be calling this a sort of tree? So for me, that is just um, I would call that like a gray purple with some color flecks. So flicker That's in the awesome. flicker in the night. That's Ooh, what I would call that's that. A good one. Flicker in the night. Maybe. But it might be if it is um, the color is Sierra. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's Sierra. So do you know a little bit about the naming convention that you bought, touched on? Mule Woods is a, I think it's a reserve or a national park that's in California. And all of these names are from the that place. So uh, there are some tree names, there are some uh, animal names like Spotted Owl or uh, there's one that's a trout. Oh, nice. A spotted trout or something, I don't know. But they're all animals and trees from that particular place in California. 
who would have thought naming yarn can be so fun? Yeah, um, I think you might have another one in there. Yeah, but I need to finish telling about this one. It's, it's uh, the, the same. same. The it's one. the same as the other one. <laughs> and this one is going to be the same, right? This one is the same. Oh, this one I would call Frog Pond, if it's park themed. Because look, it's like the uh, mm. frog green mm. and toad green, maybe. And um, so I would call this pond, some sort of pond. It's like pond, uh, but if you were to ask me what color it is, I would say green. Green and light green, but that's just from my perspective. Um, the color is da -da -da, laurel. All done. I think that's it from this bag. Yes. Oh, you're done. Uh, there's only <laughs> that one there that I used in a bag. You can show that too. So that one's this one. It's a blue, blue, blue with flickers. And this one um, is Creek. Oh, that's a good name. Creek. I can see the different colors of the water, right? Yeah, it makes so sense. Creek. So we have a creek and a pond or the laurel. Yeah. So yeah, I'm getting in touch with nature through yarn. <laughs> so the, the thing that I used for the, the creek of the mule, mule land, uh, mule woods, I added and combined with a different yarn in this uh, bush tracker beanie. So that's why I cracked into that already. And so I gave the price point. I think I did. Was it five dollars? Yeah, that's right, five bucks. And one that I missed out on the premier order that I made here was this one here from the Anti Peeling Everyday DK. I got another color. I did lie. <laughs> I thought that I just bought the three ice popsicle colors, but this one is called Tapestry. I really like those warm colors and warm hues in there, so I got this one as well. Uh, so. What else I got from my order, because Hubby's already finished all of his. Mm -hmm. I guess so not. are you kicking me off? Is no. That... <laughs> no, you can do... What no, I'm... I'll just watch and... Right. You can actually help me. Okay. Uh, the... Okay, wait, before I do that, these are the... Okay, these two are Frenzy. Oh, I like this one. This is and this nice one's a frenzy color. as well. I don't know well. if I like it on uh, me, but I really like it. Okay, I've got a, a few of the same, so you can sort of show... Is that, oh, the two of those. Those two are the same, I think. And I got... Uh, mm, those two are the same? Those two are the same, yep. Alright, so the first one that uh, Javi's showing you here is from Universal Yarns that I purchased from Premier.com or PremierYarns.com and it is the Classic Shades Wool. Uh, frenzy, sorry, classic shades frenzy, and each of these balls are do, 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 in US currency four dollars and ninety nine cents. And I'll tell you a little bit about this one. It is seventy percent acrylic, thirty percent wool. So there is wool content in this. It is a do, do, where are my yards? Here we go. It's 3.5 ounces or 100 grams, which gives you 158 yards or 145 meters. It's considered a bulky five weight, but I would say it's a very light bulky five. I would even say it's more of a four weight yarn. Uh, it is machine washable, dry flat as the care instructions. And this yarn is a made in do you think it's made in Turkey? Yes. It is made in Turkey. And the colorway for the one that we are holding up right now is called uh, Arctic Light. So really, really nice. What do you think of the feel? Attic Light. Attic Light? Attic or Arctic? It's Arctic. Oh, Arctic. Attic. Oh, it is Attic. Attic. Yeah. Attic Light. I thought it was Arctic light. That's what I thought too, and then I had to read again. You read it. Maybe my eyes aren't that bad. Um, there we go. Attic light. So I think that I don't know how they came up with that. Universal mm -hmm. Yarns is classifying their weight sizes a little too generously, because uh, to me it's not really a five weight. It is a roving style yarn, so maybe it does hit the five weight five weight uh, ratio at some points, but I would say overall it is lighter than a five weight. Now what's the color of that one that you're holding this up? This is Creekside. 
I got so. two of those. I would almost call this creek bed. Because it looks like... It's, yeah. it's more of the sandy, dirty. the dirt. Not dirty, dirt. sandy and earthy. I wouldn't call it dirty. Yeah. Yeah. Here's your dirty sweater. Here's, yeah. Here's your... You're earthy. Here's your muddy, your muddy creek sweater yeah. from the creek side. And this one here that I'm holding is a different variety, but still from Universal Yarns. It's called the Classic Shades. And this one is called Kaleidoscope. Neon Kaleidoscope. That's very much a neon kaleidoscope. This is not a color I would choose, but it would look nice on some people. But if you were asking me to pick one out, I don't know. <laughs> Just it's a little, maybe too out there. Yeah. Unless you were doing an 80s theme. Harvey's a little bit more of a classic wearer. His wardrobe's quite uh, neutral. Neutral blue Neutrals gray. Neutrals and blues. Uh, so let me tell you Unless a little bit like... about this yarn because it is a, a classificate, uh, it's classified as a different weight. It is also a roving yarn, so it does go from thick to thin. And I would say like the uh, Frenzy yarn from U Universal, where they've classified it as a five, sure enough, like the thickest part of that might be a five, but it's more so I think averages out to a four. Uh, with this one as well, even though they suggest it's a four, I think it averages out to a three. And 70% uh, acrylic and 30% wool, so similar content makeup as the previous version of this uh, Classic Shades. And uh, let's have a look. Oh, I didn't give the knitting needle size or crochet hook up this one. See? Mm. <clears throat> I also have to retrace my steps a little bit uh, back to the frenzy they are suggesting to use uh, 6.5 millimeter set of knitting needles or a 6.5 crochet hook now for this one here which is the four classification the classic shades it is suggesting to use a da -da -da, five millimeter set of knitting needles or a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. So slightly different uh, size requirements of your crafting tools, but everything else is pretty much the same apart from the weight. It is also made in Turkey. So how many sets of needles do you need? Uh, you only need whatever your project is telling you to make. They, these are the recommended sizes of needles and hooks to use to get a nice fabric. It doesn't really give you a pattern unless on... on right, but we've read like a 5.5 and a 6.5. Is there like four different? Or do you have... They're it? all different. Know. Yeah, there, there are... Many needles. Many different needles. The larger the size in millimeter circumference, the bigger the needle circumference is going to be or the hook. Right. Yeah. So each time you're doing a new project, you almost need to go buy a new set of needles. Yeah. Until, until you do a bunch. Yeah, right? normally you have a range of uh, tools in your arsenal to begin with. Mm -hmm. So you don't necessarily have to go out and buy a new set of whatever you have in your toolbox. Right. So, uh, and again, the price points for both of those are three ninety nine for the Frenzy. Sorry, four ninety nine for the Frenzy and for the Classic Shades. Okay. So. Oh yeah, I'm doing this all backwards because right at the end of the package was another pack of three from a previous uh, description that I had given for the Serenity Chunky from Premiere. So here's another color here that I got as well. It is, the colorway is called, I can tell you from here actually. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Jelly Bean. So that, those are the jelly bean colors. I'll just open them oh, up. Nice. Them I like those. Do you like the jelly beans? I do. I picked my three favorites though. Oh, you have. This is yeah. the jelly bean one. So I got this in three different varieties. So the Serenity got almond, I got toasty, and I got jelly bean. So really like that. Uh, what are your favorites? Um, I really like the Sierra, the one with the little different color flicks. So the gray, gray kind of is a gray purple with different flicks in it. Um, this is probably my second favorite. I do like the creek side as much as we were making fun of it being dirty I really do like the earthy colors, but um, no surprise the gray blue uh, Is my favorite and again 
what did we call this? This was the coffee Sumatra. one. Sumatra, yeah. So the nice coffee. Yeah. And these were the three colors that I got in that Serenity Chunky that we just covered. Mm -hmm. So as a buyer, hubby, if you were going to know that your shipping was going to be lower in costs uh, and you could get a cheaper product here in Canada, would you choose to do that? Oh, and, of course. Yep. Why would you not, right? Why would you not if it's a... And then you're, yeah, getting lo not local, but you know, you're not going, you're not dealing with the hassles of the border and the, mm. and, um, the duties, the duties that and the potentially taxes. Potentially could right? happen, right? Yeah. yeah so. Uh, so out of the premier order that I made from premieryarns.com, uh, so all of those balls equated to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, 14, 15, 16. I'm gonna say somewhere between 19 balls of yarn that I had purchased from uh, Premier Yarns on their sale, the shipping costs they charged me was $33.09 American on top of my price point uh, of the, the product that I purchased. So just to give you an idea that the, uh, the cost of all the yarn was 60 US, and then on top of that I paid half of that in price point for shipping, so it was 33 on top of my $60 purchase. Uh, whereas with the Arbadine, I purchased, I don't know, it doesn't matter how many balls you purchase from them, they're just gonna charge you a f flat rate of $5. That's incredible, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, so, it's so good. So I thank all those people who it's bought an extra, my- Like an extra five. Yeah, bought my attention to arbadinewool.ca. Uh, so yeah, I think that covers everything. And would you do another unboxing with me in the future? I think so. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, if you like <laughs> my naming scheme, um, as you, I, as I said, it's coming from a perspective of not knowing much, but uh, I am learning more. And who knows? Maybe I will pick up the hooks one day. We'll see. Um, I know it's going to take me forever, but uh, who knows? You what never know. Star. I mean, this is a good time, good good time of any to learn, right? We're spending a lot of time at home, mm -hmm. so I might as well uh, pick up the needles and try it out. I hope everyone's safe and enjoying their weekend. I will catch you up. Maybe hubby will join me in Chad, the not too yeah. distant future. And uh, I'll see you next week. Bye for now. Bye for now.